This is Donna Quisenberry, and I'm going to show you today how to merge an email template with either one contact in your Zoho database, multiple contacts, and then also a feature called mass email. So to start out with, let's just say that you want to merge an email template to one contact in your database. This is assuming that you already have the template built that you want to send. All you have to do is click on the check marks next to the contact's name, and I am in the contacts area of Zoho. So I've selected this contact, Ron, and now I'm gonna send an email. So if I click send email, that's gonna bring up a dialog box that defaults to Ron as the recipient, and then here I can click on choose template. And then here is a list of the templates in my template folder. So I'll just go ahead and choose the template that I want to load. You can make changes to this template if you wish before you send it. And then and all you have to do is click onto it and, and make changes. You see that you have a edit bar down here at the bottom that you can really do anything that you want to do to change the template, including changing images, changing fonts, et cetera. You also can add an attachment to your email before you send it. The other little helpful hint here is that you see here on the left, it says schedule at 3.30 p.m. today. That's actually gonna pick up, if you have had communications with this contact previously, Zoho actually gives you the average time that you seem to communicate with each other. Um, so you can take that suggestion or you can actually schedule this at a different time by clicking this little clock here. So if I hit that and it will come up with a schedule option. Um, this is really handy. Let's say if you're working late in the afternoon that's not the best time for people to read emails, so you may want to go ahead and schedule this to go out the next morning or whenever you'd like. So you can schedule for another time on the same day, or you can schedule for a specific date and time. We're going to go ahead and leave this at today, and I'm going to hit schedule. And then if I click schedule, that's going to go ahead and schedule that email at the time that I selected. If I want to go ahead and have it send out immediately, I could just unclick that or ignore that piece and just click the send button. So you'll get a little process indicator here and then a message that your email has been successfully sent. The other thing you can do, just so you know, if you want to look at what emails you've sent to a contact, if you click on that contact's name, and then scroll to the bottom, there is an email section, and that will show you any emails that you've sent to that customer and the day and time you've sent them. Uh, and you can also open up the email and it'll show you the actual content of what went out in the email. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our contact records. So that is, again, sending and merging an email template to one contact in your database. You also can multi-select, and so let's say I want to send that same email template to a couple of people in the database. Uh, so if I want to send this to Ray and also Nancy, I can scroll down and you know select somebody else from the database and make my selection that way. Um, and then again, all I would have to do is click on the send email, and then here it'll show you at the top the names that you've selected select template and then you go through a similar process uh, so you select the template now here what's kind of interesting is that you can also not only schedule it to send you know at a different date and time or a different time or send immediately you can also zoho has like a really nice thought process where you could trigger an action so you can say well when any of these people open the email I want you to go ahead and either update a field in my database, add some kind of a follow-up task, or schedule a call on my calendar. So this will go on to the Zoho calendar, which is called the activities area. 
And then all you have to do if you want that is click on configure and type type what you want to do as part of that call. Um, if you want to assign that to somebody else on the team, you can. And then you can also schedule how long after the email is open do you want that to show up on your calendar. So I can just hit done, done, and then go ahead and send the emails. And again, you'll get an indicator that the email has been sent. Okay, so pretty simple and straightforward to merge a template to one contact, or if you multi-select contacts, you can send that way. Um, the other thing that you can do is, if you're familiar with over here on the left, if I click on this pull down, there, there are these different views, they're called in Zoho. Another way to think of them is groups. So if you have groups already set up for certain categories of contacts, you can also send a mass email to that entire view or group. Um, and the way to do that is you can just come here to your contacts area, and then way over on the right, if you click these three buttons and then select mass email, you don't have to select any contacts, you just select mass email, and then here you come to this page, and over to the right, you click on create mass email. And then here's where you would click, you would select that view that I was just talking about. So if you, let's say you have all of your prospects in a view, you can select that from the pull down. So again, this would be any, anybody that you've set up in a view, or there's some defaults here too, like all of my contacts recently created, new this week, last week, etc. All of those selections would be there. Uh, and then all you have to do is select the template and select that template. Um, if you click on the template name, it actually will give you a preview of that template in case you're not sure if you picked the right one. And then you can again use those functions like the schedule of the email and also trigger an action based on what happened with the email. In this case, you also can add a follow-up email. It's kind of a, I guess I'll call it a poor man's <laughs> version of setting up a campaign. Uh, there also is, of course, a way to set up automated drip campaigns in Zoho, which that will be in a separate training video. But uh, for this case, if you're sending out a mass email, you can schedule a, a follow-up emails to go out based on either who received the email or who opened it. So maybe you want everybody that opened it to get another type of specific email. Um, you can indicate if there's certain types of contacts you don't want getting that follow-up email. And then again, you select the template that you want to send as that second email. And also how many days after the first one, you want the second template to go, to go out. And then you would just click add. And now you have more or less a mini campaign based on this one email that you're sending. And then you just hit, hit the send button. Another great feature in Zoho that's related to the emails that you send, including any email merges with templates, is you have this little bell up in the top right corner, and you'll see that I've got the number six uh, in a red box there. So if I click that, it's going to open up what's called sales signals. This is actually a just like a live monitoring of the emails that you've sent and what's going on with those emails. So you can see that I had a couple of, of bounced emails. Um, I also, sh sh sorry, see that Ashley opened one of my emails um, at 7.53 a.m. Um, and I also have a few other uh, indicators here of recent emails that I've sent out and you know what happened with those particular emails. If I scroll down, it's gonna show me really the record of any email that I sent out and it will give me data on if it was opened or not, and uh, which is really, again, a kind of a handy little tool 
to see who's opening your emails sort of in a live stream within Zoho. So again, that's called sales signals. It's where if you click this little bell, you can get that really like live feed of who's opening up your emails. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. Please call us at Q2 Database Consulting for any Zoho or CRM assistance. Phone number is 760-434-3431. Have a great one.